the first time in September 2020, Baidu announced its collaboration with Qinglong to launch the Apollo Robobus in the big data industrial park of Yongchuan, Chongqing City. One of the most influential tech giants in China, Baidu is a pioneer in the industry, having introduced several autonomous driving services. Among these, there are robotaxis that have already been put into use in Beijing and are set to expand into 30 cities in China within the next two to three years. Hello friends, this is Vivian from Pandaily. Today we have come to the beautiful city of Chongqing, not for the food or the view, but for the Baidu Apollo Robus. Here we are in the Yongchuan district, where the Western Region Autonomous Driving Open Testing Base is located. And here we're gonna hop on a ride with the Robus to see how it operates. It's the first of its kind to provide public service using an L4 level autonomous driving vehicle, which can drive by itself recognize complex road situations, and adapt accordingly. Are you excited yet? Let's come take a look together. The Apollo Robobuses, first introduced at a press conference announcing Baidu's collaboration with Qinglong, are on their way to open roads. Each bus is 5.9 meters long and equipped with four radar sensors, two millimeter wave radars, and seven monocular cameras to detect the environment and collect data when driving. Any obstacle within 240 meters, larger than 10 centimeters, can be spotted. Though capable of recognizing many possible situations for immediate action with the Baidu Brain AI computing system, each Robobus on the road has an accompanying safety driver who can manually take control of the vehicle at any moment in case of emergency. At each intersection on the designated bus route, an edge computing unit is equipped to detect vehicles and pedestrians coming from all directions, as well as statuses of traffic lights. The roadside perception system couples with the Robobus's own detection and control system to constitute the V2X system, which prevents perception errors and facilitates even safer driving. Currently, V2X and high precision mapping technologies have been set up along 30 square kilometers spanning the Yongchuan New City and across 220 kilometers of bi-directional urban roads. So here's a spot where we can see the vehicle's V2X technologies in action. V2X, meaning vehicle to everything, incorporates communications between the vehicle with everything around it. So behind me is an Apollo device attached to a pole which connects it to all traffic lights in the area. With this, the vehicle is able to receive signals regarding the status and colors of the traffic lights, but also the countdown in seconds. The Robobus rides comfortably and adapts to uncommon scenarios quickly. Many of those who rode one said they wouldn't think the vehicle was driving itself if they hadn't known it already. Rides are currently free, but the company has now received a license to commercialize them in Chongqing, the first city in China to initiate the commercial operation of Robobus technologies. Locals can reserve a ride through mobile apps like Apollo Go or Baidu Maps, with rides passing through many central spots like schools and memorial parks. A Robobus makes six journeys a day, departing every 50 minutes from morning to afternoon. So here we have met some lovely university students on our ride, and let's hear a bit from them about how they feel. That你们既然都是第一次乘坐，那你们乘坐下来有什么体验呢？就是有什么给你们想象的一样，或者不一样的地方？最开始就想象的那个自动驾驶汽车可能会有点害怕，但是也很期待。然后这就乘坐了之后
驾驶这一个可以预约嘛，对我们年轻人来说也很方便，所以如果会在。我们生活的区域的话，我会选择。嗯、呃，我也会的，因为其实，在重庆来说，它的弯比较多嘛，然后路也不是非常平坦，然后自动驾驶来说，它设置了一个平均的速度吧，其实会运行的更为平稳，乘坐也更舒适一些。我觉得我也会，因为我觉得这是一个趋势吧，而且像我相信，就之后，呃，更多年轻人都会选择这种出行方式，还有既便捷又安全又方便。The Western Region Autonomous Driving Open Testing Base, which serves as the command and management center for the testing of all autonomous vehicles, is located in the center of Yongchuan. The base deploys a 5G communication road network that can build and visualize an ecosystem of vehicles, roads, and map information. In addition to the Qinglong Robobus, close to 20 Hongqi and Lincoln autonomous vehicles are also being tested there. On a monitor screen at the very entrance of the base, the status of roads, Roadside devices and all Apollo autonomous driving vehicles can be seen in real time. Displayed information includes the location of all active vehicles, their models, the number of online and offline roadside units, as well as traffic information, such as collisions and safety violations by uninvolved cars, which updates every three minutes. For each R-represented intersection, a page will show live surveillance camera footage alongside a radar representation both in real time to give a vivid image of the moving environment. When a specific vehicle is chosen, the monitor view of the safety driver and the car's speed can be seen on the screen. The Polo Autonomous Driving Shuttles are being operated at three spots across the city, including the testing base itself. These vehicles have no steering wheels and depend on memorized routes to travel within a enclosed area, with the safety driver overseeing its operations from a tablet inside the vehicle. The Robobus, compared to such shuttles, performs better on slopes, which makes it the ideal candidate for open roads on Chongqing's hilly terrain. On July 12, 2021, Baidu won an RMB 98.8 million bid for the Yongchuan District Smart Transportation Phase 1 pilot project in Chongqing. As part of the project, Baidu will establish a traffic data platform and control center for smart traffic management, smart transportation, autonomous ride hailing services, and autonomous driving applications. A future of normalized autonomous driving services is well within reach. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more content on the world of Chinese tech and business. See you next time.